hundreds of thousands of residents of Charleston, the capital of West Virginia and the most populous city in the state, have been without clean tap water after a toxic chemical used to process coal overran a containment zone and spilled into the Elk River. Officials have no timeline for when the water will be safe to use, but West Virginia Governor Earl Ray Tomlin said Sunday the cleanup effort has been positive and the end of the crisis is in sight. Our team has been diligent in testing samples from, out, from throughout the affected area. The numbers look good, and like last night, they are very encouraging. I believe that we're at a point where we could say that we see light at the end of the tunnel. I ask all West Virginians to continue to be patient as we work to safely restore service to the affected areas. State officials warned residents not to use tap water for anything other than flushing toilets. We have a baby and so we're trying to find water for him for formula. Um, it really doesn't matter for us. We're just trying to make sure he has what he needs. Freedom Industries is the company responsible for the chemical spill. 28,000 liters of a foaming agent used in the coal preparation process leaked into the river on January 9th. The toxic chemical then traveled downstream from Freedom Industries to a nearby water treatment plant. Kent Carper is the president of the Kanawha County Commission. The condition of the plant was not good. The danger was known to the previous owner and the danger was known to the current owner. It's a kind of a, a sweet smell, almost, it smells almost like candy. Tap water in the area is now stained blue-green and smells sickly sweet. People would come in here and ask me what that smell was, you know, I said it was liquor. Schools and many businesses remain closed as the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the West Virginia Army National Guard have delivered nearly one million liters of bottled water to the area. Brian Allen, VOA News.